Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Welcome for another general tarot reading, and this is for my Scorpios. Today is my favorite Scorpio's birthday too. Happiest birthday to Chanel, the wellness lady. I hope this says something good for you in particular. You never know what's gonna come out though, because this is for all my Scorpio friends. But I'm back in my I am back in my environment, thank God. And I am feeling better. So thank you all for all the well wishes. But I like for the videos to be consistent. So since the first four was short, they're just all going to be short this week, y'all. I'm pulling six to ten cards for each sign. I planned on eight, but, you know, sometimes they give me more. Sometimes they give me less. It depends on what y'all need to hear. And you did get it. We have the Temperance in Reverse, the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, Eight of Wands in Reverse, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords in Reverse. The Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in Reverse. So what I'm seeing right now is there's something that you've been supposed to do, friend, and you've been out of balance with your obedience, so to speak. It's like you're kind of doing it, but you're remixing it in a way that makes you more comfortable. And Spirit's like, yeah, that's not what I said to do. For a lot of you, so if there's things that are just kind of not working or they're moving slower than you thought they would, that's definitely spirit trying to redirect you as gently as possible. And it's best that you listen now before the lesson gets a little bit harder, friend. Here with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords in reverse, this has to do with you just not having the full picture. So it's like you want to keep whatever this is because you don't know what you don't know. And spirit's saying you really don't want to know. You don't want to be forced to fuck around and find out, really. But if that's the road that you're going on, you're going to have to at least be prepared. Either way, at the end of this experience, you will have gained so much insight and wisdom. It's going to make you feel like if you got through this, you can really get through anything. It's like you've been through much worse, like physically, and now you've been through this very emotionally tumultuous thing. So there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't do, but there's some things you shouldn't do, and that's going to be your title. Nothing you can't, some things you shouldn't. And we're gonna pull a few inner piece oracles and um, get on out of here. What do you need from this deck, friend? Give me Nirvana I Can Dance to, and you are a child of the universe. This would make such a good sticker, wouldn't it? Like a laptop sticker? I would put that on my laptop. But it says, no less than the fucking stars. You can do whatever you want, but like, it really is just some stuff you shouldn't do. And this is something you shouldn't do. This person is someone you shouldn't be doing. Give me Nirvana I Can Dance to, like no one's watching, or if they are, give it up. You got to look out for you more than anything, but you got to understand that sometimes what you want is not what you need. So looking out for yourself is going to look a little bit different than what you thought it would. But that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. All that jazz. It helps me. It helps you. And it helps someone else because each one reach one. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can book one through the link in the description box. And I have all the oils. All 11 oils from each collection are or well it's 11 collections and there's one oil each but they're all uploaded onto the website now for your viewing pleasure you can go right to the oils page for it or if you want to just check out all collections each collection has its own page and the link to my website will be in the description box too but uh yeah i bid you all adieu peace <laughs>